Take the tie, place it around your neck, flat against your chest, seam side down. Adjust for length. This step is very important. It's monstrous. But we're going to skip it. Take the fat end, cross it over the skinny end, making an X. Notice the center. Grab hold the center of the X, and don't let go. Above that is the tie hole. Notice the tie hole. There's four things you can do with it. You can go out of the hole, into the hole, behind the hole, or across the hole. The first step is to come out of the hole. So take the tie and make it go out of the hole. I'll show that again. Tie goes out of the hole. Pull it through and flip it over. Next, we're going behind the hole. So again, take the tie and make it go behind the hole. Now we're going to go into the hole. So grab the tie, put it into the hole. Pull it through. You'll notice the seam is now facing forward. Now we're going to go across the hole. Take the tie and make it go across the hole. A quick tip, put your finger right here. It'll come in handy later. Now we're going to go out of the hole. So take the tie and make it go out of the hole. Again, flipping it over. Now because you have the finger here, you can make room to put the tie in between. Now tighten the knot by pulling on the fat end. Don't lose the skinny end. You can squeeze the bottom to help form the knot. Pulling on the tops will also help. Grab the skinny end and pull as you push the knot to tighten. Make sure everything looks neat and tidy. And now you can flip your collar down. At this point, you should also do up your top button and give it one more tighten. Don't mess with it too much. I'm sure it looks good. And if you did it right, it should look like this.